How you guys doing? So currently have the CNC machine disassembled and uh, I'm in the middle of a uh, few things. So first thing is I'm putting on some new longer rails. So these rails are gonna um, go all the way up. Uh, I might even just not even cut them because they, they don't really get in the way of anything. But that's how they'll probably sit. And uh, other than that, the uh, which I talked about in a previous video, the uh, DFU uh, ball screw here for the z-axis is on there and you won't be able to see it in there uh, and I have a wooden uh, plate on there to uh, allow me to put in the pocket onto the aluminum plate which is right there um, some things uh, roadblocks I ran into with that is the because of the uh, bigger BK block here it pushes everything out this way a bunch and the uh, timing belt here that I use is too small for this new setup so I have one of those on order that's going to be here in probably two weeks or so so I have more time to kill and uh, yeah once that's done uh, then the plan would be to put the pocket into here uh, what else that I found out when taking this all apart was the uh, nuts here for the Y axes they're a bit loose I don't know if you'll be able to hear that on camera. But they develop a bunch of play in there, uh, both of them. And these are SFU uh, 1610. And I have since ordered uh, DFU, so a double nut size, in uh, 1605, so half the pitch. And hopefully that will last a bit longer. Uh, if they don't, then I might, in the future, when these, when the new DFUs wear out, I might modify all this stuff to go up to uh, a 20x size, so a bigger ball screw. But in order for me to do that, it means that um, it's like the spacers here will probably have to change. They'll probably have to be smaller, and then the position of the uh, lower plate that rides on the uh, gantry risers which is right here so this thing sits like that the holes there they'll well the the physical plate where it is let's put this down so this will probably have to be pushed out so I'll probably have to make a new plate of this and uh, the hole pattern for the uh, for a 20x ball screw nut housing is probably different too. So it'd mean I have to make these plates all over again. Uh, so here's over here the bearing carriages. These uh, don't have any play even though they look really nasty inside. So I'm just about to, that's why I got the pink gloves on. I'm gonna start rebuilding all these things. So I have 12 in total. So this is for the uh, X and Y. So each of those has four and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna rebuild these, and then I'll also rebuild the ones on Z as well. I wasn't planning on it, but now I have a lot of time because I'm waiting for ball screws for the Y axis to show up now. So I may as well just rebuild everything and get everything running nice again. With the machine disassembled and me working on the Y rails, which are here, I'm gonna use the laser level setup that I have with the webcam and then that way I can dial in the alignment of the rails. At least I'll, I'll probably pick one of them, probably this one, and get this one perfectly straight and uh, and then try and rig up something where I can I can get this one here uh, perfectly parallel to it and uh, yeah that'll probably work out. I'll probably do something such as uh, shimming the bottom of the rails where necessary and possibly uh, putting a bit of epoxy in there. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to build up a a level with epoxy, like a using like an epoxy leveling method, due to the fact that I don't want to change the geometry of where these uh, uh, bolt holes are. I don't want to have to lower them down if I raise everything up. So I'd like to just keep all that the way it is, and just fill in the the gaps to just make this uh, straight. Uh, the machine's been running pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I needed to get the longer rails in here because I intend to plan or I intend to replace 
what we see here with this uh, MDF spoil board. That's going to be a half inch piece of steel and then I'm going to have a probably a one inch uh, aluminum plate on top of it which will be a fixture plate and then that, that way I'll like one inch is enough that I can skim that down over time when necessary to machine it all flat again but that'll give me a nice uh, nice surface for uh, doing fixtures and stuff but plus the uh, the half inch steel plate underneath it will be good for mounting the vise and as you know I have the vise here, the 6 inch vise so I'll still be able to if necessary take the fixture, fixture plate off and then mount the vise in here if I, if I need any special use cases where I need a, a giant vise like that all right, so that's that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, not a lot's happening. Uh, just got to rebuild everything now. I got other carriages here that came with these rails, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm going to try and just use all these until these are no good anymore, and then I'll replace these. These uh, green ones are newer than the gray ones, so most likely the gray ones will wear out first before the green ones, and I have the green ones on the Z-axis as well and uh, most likely I'll, I'll be replacing the grays with the red. Alright, talk to you guys later.